So it's been about a half hour now, and uh, so we're going to do our second turn. The very first one is the one of four. So this is going to be our second turn. Um, so I have it set over here. I have a little heater on the floor just to make sure it's uh, warm enough. Again, you want the temperature to be really be around 75 uh, to 80 degrees. So this is a Kush. Um, you can buy them uh, from Amazon. And I do have the links to this, to which one I use. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, flower my Kush. And again, if you can probably imagine if you used uh, your um, uh, Kush on the very first turn, uh, that wet dough really uh, uh, attaches to this and you end up with that. So here, here's what the dough looks. You can see that it's actually starting to rise and I just pull it out with my hands and, and it's, you can see it's definitely um, a little wet. So uh, again, I'm going to use my uh, sifter and again, the reason, the reason I use the sifter is so I, if you look at it, you can see little clumps of flour and you really want to try to avoid that. So again, all I'm doing is pressing with my fingers and my uh, palms of my hands and and I'm pushing it out and again my first fold is over and I'm just going to again do this now you'll see by the the particularly by the third and fourth turn that uh, this pushing down doesn't work as effectively uh, and so again I'm pushing it out kind of round. So the next part that I do is I just pull it over again. Again, that is my third turn. Uh, again, you, you flatten it out, pull it over, turn it over to the side, and then turn it over to the side again. And the purpose that you're doing, why you're doing this, from what I can tell, is to, again, get that, that starter. Uh, intermixed into there and push out push out the um, air that forms from the yeast fermenting so okay and so there's my third turn and again it it, it goes fairly quick and now there's my uh, fourth one it's a little wet so now I'm just gonna again turn it in fourths over like that and return it to its bowl. I'm going to put it in the warm place for another half hour and repeat the process. So uh, we're now on our third turn of four. So Again, it's been over here in a nice warm place. I'm going to take the flour out. It's definitely um, a little bit drier, but I'm going to put a little bit of flour on there. And again, I'm going to process, go through the same process, pushing it down. It definitely, you can definitely feel it starting to um, rise. Now, one of the things I wanted to say about uh, the starter, uh, I'm using a starter that I got from my nephew. I, I try doing mine myself. Now, uh, I've gotten San Francisco dough starter, and, and it, it started to rise, but I have to tell you, the taste of the uh, 
so the San Francisco sourdough starter was uh, completely different than mine. Uh, so the one that I'm using right now is really good. If you're interested in getting some of what I'm using, it's 15 years old and be more than happy to figure out a way to get it to you. Again, I'm going to, now you can see it's kind of smaller. So uh, I'm going to just kind of do a little bit of flour on this and I'm, I'm going to push down with my knuckles. You notice that all I'm doing is pushing down and, and spreading it out, getting it a little bit wider and I'm pushing out and then my here's my first one and as you look as you're looking down on it you can see that it's definitely rising in, in these half hour uh, these half hours so And again, I'm going to the side. As you, you're looking at it, you can see it, it's definitely rising up. And again, what we're doing is pushing the, the air bubbles out of the fermentation that is happening. And I'm going to fold it over again. Now you see I'm going with my knuckles right off because it, it's, it's definitely thickening up. And now one of the things I found as I've been doing this, instead of really using a lot of muscles, I just put my weight into it. And you can see there's a little seam right here and I'm trying to work that into the, into the other dough. And so what I'm gonna do is fold this over and this is the last one. And this is definitely thicker than when we first started. And again, all I'm doing is just leaning forward and putting my weight into my knuckles. <laughs> when I first got started, I, uh, I was pushing down with my arms and not using my weight. And I was making, you know, four or five loaves at a time. And by the last loaves, uh, I was getting tired. Now, one of the things that you should be aware of, this is going to make two loaves of bread. And again, I'm just trying to flatten this out. I'm seeing if there's any uh, sides that are thicker. And again, now what I'm going to do is just Lean it over, put it kind of in a ball like that, and put it back in the bowl. Put a dry cover over it, and uh, wait for another half hour. And so the next one will be our our um, fourth one. Again, you can see why I use a cloche, um, and uh, now one of the things you can do with the the powder, the flour that you used from the very beginning when you were uh, putting it on the, a dry surface such as this granite, um, is you can get another sifter so you're not wasting the flour, just put the, the flour in the sifter and then you can uh, use that flour so you're not wasting that flour. So anyway, we'll start up again in a half hour.